Manchester United fans. So what we are, are asking ourselves is uh, what is the future of Ten Hag uh, in the Manchester United as uh, this season uh, is a poor poor for the Manchester United because they are still struggling to qualify Manchester United in the uh, European competition next uh, next e season so uh, Ten Hag uh, uh, was defeated by Chelsea in uh, last week I was I was defeated by Chelsea uh, four goals and uh, uh, he was also uh, before that uh, uh, he didn't also get three points uh, in the previous re, uh, week and also on, on the clash versus Liverpool he didn't go to three point uh, at Old Trafford so this is a big loss for the Manchester United in their previous league games where they only have uh, three points uh three points in their previous three games so that they have a two loop two points they have a two point in their three games because they lost uh on a game versus Chelsea today they draw and also last time they draw so that means that uh they have a three point per nine points that, that is a poor Power performance. Many Manchester United fans they are asking themselves, what is the future of Ten Hag in the Manchester United? Some of them they want a quick reaction for the Sajim Lactif and Ineos in general to decide whether they will sack Ten Hag at the end of the season. Uh, as because uh, when you see <clears throat> uh, uh, the way. The um, Ten Hag uh, uh, is coaching Manchester United. You don't see any creativity uh, in the playing of the Manchester United. So that is not a convincing game for the Manchester United fans. So they want to uh, hear that uh, there is another uh, uh, manager who will become uh, who come in the Manchester United. There was some rumor saying that. Uh, uh, Zinedine Zidane was one of the uh, coach who is likely to replace Ten Hag. Uh, we have also uh, the ZB from Brighton as also another option for replacing Ten Hag. We have many managers, coaches that can replace Ten Hag if he sucked by the Ineos. But you have to think that. Any time can be sacked at the end of the season as he knows they are planning to make a big revolution at Manchester United the next season by signing new players as also they are still breeding their uh, their, their, their leadership department as uh, they signed a new CEO uh, last uh, last uh, previous remarks and also uh, they are signing the uh, football director so they, they are they are still con con co breeding their leadership department in the Manchester United so we are going to see uh, those uh, uh, mans who comes in the match. So, what they are 